Yo, hello everyone! Do you want to synchronize your schedules effortlessly by integrating Notion with Outlook Calendar in 2023? This guide will walk you through the steps to ensure that your events and tasks in Notion are seamlessly reflected in your Outlook Calendar, keeping you on top of your commitments. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys that you have to do is of course connect into your Notion account and in the other place connect into your Outlook account. Now here we have my calendar as you can see so it is October, this is October the 5th, uh, we are on Thursday today and yeah this is my calendar in general and how it looks like now here if we want through the settings calendar settings uh, you will not really find something as apps you will find customize actions and here you will find get add-ins click here to save and this simply will give you an add-in into your own calendar but still it won't really help you with anything it doesn't have the app that you are looking for which is notion so what should you do in this occasion now let's head up to notion as well and let's click on these three points over here and by going there you will find the connection that you have Sometimes you will have it like that. Sometimes if you went to the journal or something like that, you might find it into here. So here, if I click into my connections and manage the connections and I click into the CO, like over here, you will be able to see all the apps that you can connect to. There is the OneDrive that is made by Outlook themselves. There is also the Google Drive. But for the calendar itself, um, it doesn't really exist over here so what should you do and how can you really make a connection between these two apps while there is nothing it seems like to connect them both together well the only solution that you have is to actually go ahead and search for Zapier and Zapier is automation or automation that moves you forward which is uh, automation between two apps it will create an autom autom automation between uh, any app that you have in mind and does exist in this app which is called Zapier so here first of all you have to connect into your account by connecting to your account you will be able to see this dashboard then over here you will find the menu search for the apps and then here search for the app that you are going to use for your zaps or for your automation as an example we are going to use notion so let's search for notion here we go and here it is connect so let's add a connection and here I have already an account where I will show you how to add yours so simply you just have to give them the permission select the pages or your for example let's choose that here we go allow access and from here on let's just wait here we go um, now let's test the connection test successfully so we have the connection uh, ready to go and then let's go back to the apps and search for calendar so here in the calendar we have Google Calendar uh, we have team up calendar we have calendar we have events calendar but we don't really have the main thing which is the Outlook calendar so how can we find a solution for that as well well to fix that you have to upgrade your plan or to up explore more connections and yeah here if you search for it specifically you might find it there is Microsoft Outlook mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft Outlook can be the, the thing for you there is some kind of Microsoft Teams uh, there is a bunch of stuff that might help you but calendar unfortunately isn't one of them that you might find so here we go let's search more yeah, they are so limited here by the apps that they have. Uh, even though there is 6K, but there is still more apps that are very important for us to use. So what should we do in that point? In that point, you have to upgrade your plan to the professional plan. So click on upgrade plan and then wait for this page until it loads. 
and from here on you just have to choose the professional plan why because it has this unlimited premium apps and a custom logic with path this tool will allow you to connect with the uh, the support and contact them so you can send them a message here and then tell them that I want a custom app that will be added to my website or to my account so after that here they will add your uh, app which is for our case calendar of Outlook and then click on create zap here all you need to do is to create the automation that you want so for this integration we want uh, when a new page is created on notion create an event on calendar and then let it make this generation and then your generation prompt will be in made into a real action so here we can choose for example this one and from here we can try it we have to connect both apps into the account so we have hit multiple accounts make sure to connect it to your account that you want it the same goes for here and once you feel like you're done you have to click on this off button to make it on and then click on publish if you have everything fixed if not you will have to fix every problem that you have in this section to make it publish so as an example for this notion i'm going to choose this account here we go it is done click on continue then here choose a value so for me there is no value specifically so i'm just going to keep it like that refresh fields uh here we can for example come back here i can create a page hello and then save it as it is so let's save it as it is there's nothing to choose there's nothing to change and add it so i'm going to add it to my arch architecture so no pages inside here it is and now what i'm going to do is click on it to make sure it exists and here we have to refresh this page so clear i'm going to refresh fields normally here if i refresh the page it will be changed to the hello page that i have created and then you have simply to connect into it and if you didn't find it you just have to give it some time sometimes take like five minutes to load actually then click continue to finish required fields they will make a test to make sure that everything is connected successfully and then you can publish it the same goes for the other app you have to go through everything and then your zap and automation will be working fantastically smooth and yeah guys that was it for today's video this is how you can actually connect your own notion with the outlook calendar or the onedrive calendar it is very easy guys it there is no problem to do so you just have to use zapier as your main uh, platform you will have to pay 50 dollars which is the cost of doing that but yeah it is very very worth it in case you were going to use it daily so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you in the next tutorial